safety and you need to know that you're getting into a vehicle that's fully licensed, that the driver is fully licensed and that he is who he claims to be. You don't want to be getting into a vehicle with a person that you have no knowledge of whatsoever. The first thing that you teach your kids when they're small is that you never get into a taxi with a stranger or you never get into a vehicle with a stranger. Well that's essentially what you're doing when you get into a taxi. You're getting into a vehicle with a stranger. Granted, his, he's meant to be completely licensed and in many cases and in most cases they are, but there are gen genuinely out there drivers that are not properly uh, uh, registered uh, or, or licensed. You need to have the mechanism as a consumer to be able to guarantee that you are getting into a vehicle that is properly, um, properly licensed, insured and is safe. I'm not sure Trusted Taxi will get rid of the stigma per se, that's up to the industry themselves to, to do I think, but what, what this will do is it will empower the consumer. It now gives the consumer the ability to choose. No longer are all taxis equal. Some are better than others, some are willing to show that they are who they claim to be, are willing to be front, put, put themselves front and centre. If I was uh, a bona fide taxi driver personally and I had nothing to hide, uh, I wouldn't be uh, worried at all about this service. In fact, I'd be very happy about it because it would be, uh, in my eyes, cleaning up the industry generally and making it so that any bad guys would have a very hard time trying to stay hidden. Absolutely. Safety, in my eyes, is first and foremost. It's a regulated industry and I think there's a duty on the government um, and the regulatory bodies to be doing absolutely everything in their power to make sure the safety of the tra travelling public is front and centre all the time. It, the industry has gone too long focused on other things um, and I, I think safety is one of those things that hasn't had enough focus and now technology has moved to the point where it actually is really easy to confirm things like this. Initially the drivers were very sceptical, but when we showed it to them and gave them a demonstration of what it does, the good guys loved it straight away. We did a, a trial in our uh, local hometown and it took us about 30 minutes to sign up approximately 50 drivers, all of whom wanted to see their industry improved, all wanted to show that they were genuine taxi drivers, that they were working hard, that they had nothing to hide. And were very supportive of our efforts to try and empower the public so that the public could choose between a good, licensed, properly run taxi and one that wasn't. Well, the, sim the single biggest one probably is it's free. It doesn't cost you anything to use. The app is free to download and you can use it as little or as much as you like. And it, it gives you the ability to provide feedback on, on your experience in a particular taxi. And what we hope will happen is that as people uh, use it more and more and it becomes more widely uh, accepted, those vehicles and those drivers that provide a really good service will see their business boom as a result through the power of social, social media and uh, sharing of information.